And welcome back everybody to the Flyers All Access show right here on Rogers TV. Now right before the break, I asked you guys, what was the big comparison, the big familiarity between Flyers captain Peter Campbell and Theron Fleury? And the answer, both of those guys play for the Belfast Giants of the Elite Ice Hockey League. And it just so happens, by chance, we have the co-host of A View from the Bridge podcast, which is the official podcast of the Giants of the EIHL, Mr. David McGimsey. He joins us. He's over in England. So, Davey, thanks so much for taking the time to join us here today all the way in Gander, Newfoundland. Matt, very, very welcome. Thank you for having me on. Now, I believe our Flyers fans would know you guys from Twitter. You guys have been following the Flyers since the start of the season. So, first of all, Davey, just tell our fans how you ended up following our Gander Flyers. Well, I suppose uh, it's straightforward enough. Uh, your captain, Pete Campbell, former former player over here in Belfast, I was having a troll through the internet seeing what old, old, old Giants players were up to this weather and it came across the wires that Pete was signing in, in Gander and we had a little a little look and saw you on Twitter and, and started just, just hit you up on Twitter and the conversation started flowing backwards and forwards and ever since then we've been uh, just keeping, keeping tabs on how the team's going. And Davey, uh, just speaking of our fans on Twitter, um, our fans could follow you guys. You guys do a podcast. So just tell our fans a bit about the podcast that you guys do and how the Gander Flyers are intertwined in that broadcast. Our podcast is, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at AVFTB or you can get us at www.kingdomofthegiants.com forward slash podcast. And we have a weekly show. It's about an hour, an hour and a half long. It has interviews with the coaches, the players after the recent games and a bit of a view of what's going on around the league and what's going on with our Belfast Giants during the week. But uh, every week, uh, well, as, as many weeks as we can, we, we have a little slot in there on how uh, Pete Campbell and the Flyers and Paddy O'Brien's doing. And we always like to keep up to date. We had a bit of a section there whenever you drafted and changed a few players a few weeks back. We just uh, give the Gander Flyers a mention and and uh, we get a lot of interaction ar around that from our own followers in Belfast. You know, a lot of them at, at games now are coming and asking us how the Flyers are going. And um, it's just something we're going to keep going. We've, we've grown a bit, got a bit of a rapport going with Gander now. They're, our, uh, they're, they're definitely our Newfoundland team, that's for sure. So uh, maybe just tell our fans uh, maybe some of the things that you're hearing from your fans about our Gander Flyers. What are some of the things that uh, maybe a few of the questions that you're being asked? Well, certainly, um, I know we'll allude to it, uh, uh, Patty O'Brien and, and Devon, obviously, the, the O'Briens, uh, they want to know what the connection is. Is there any, uh, is there any uh, genealogical connection there back to the home country? You know, are these guys uh, former uh, Ulster men and, and, and where the, what their roots are? And obviously, Pete Campbell being fantastic. People want to know how Pete's going, and it's been great that he's been named captain of the Flyers. And they want to know, basically, is, is Pete scoring goals still? Is Pete still a good setup man and and uh, as I say just uh, just general questions around Newfoundland hockey obviously uh, a guy who was an outstanding player here last year with a with another team David Ling started the season in Newfoundland and, and he off he's went daily I think uh, he was with the CB Stars and you know they just want to know how the Flyers are going are they progressing up the league are they going to do any damage in the playoffs here and let's hope we, we can uh, we can see the Flyers uh, doing a wee bit of damage in the playoffs and uh, maybe getting through a round. Now, of course, uh, just for Peter, he was named to the t he was named as a team's first captain since they returned to our league here last year. So, just talk about the type of player Peter was for the Belfast Giants. Pete Campbell, actually, you, you said in the introduction there. I must slow down talking. Obviously, <laughs> I can get a bit carried away. Um, Pete, Pete uh, and Theo are actually one and two in the rankings for points per game ever for the Giants. Pete was a fantastic player. He came to us from a team called Basingstoke that were having uh, financial problems and we were able at a time that we were going pretty bad, our goalie wasn't playing particularly well and we were able to, to bring in uh, Stevie Lyle and Pete uh, in, a, in a deal from from the team that was going bad. We had we'd gone 3-8 and eight at the start of the season, we were really struggling and Pete came in and scored 85 points in 47 games and really lit the league up that season. He was just a fantastic goal scorer and uh, goal scoring forward. And I'm guessing that the biggest name to ever play for the Belfast Giants, of course, is Theron Fleury. Uh, what was it like having such a big name play over for the Belfast Giants? The, the 
season Theo uh, played for the Giants was obviously a, a fantastic experience for for the fans. You know, we we ended up winning the league that season. And for the league, um, the regular season in the UK would be more, a bit more of a prestigious prize than the playoffs. A bit different from North America. The playoffs here, it's just the top eight teams go into it in a in a two legged quarter final, and then a one off semi final and a one off final. So it's, it's you know you can four games wins the playoffs so really the 50 game 50 60 game regular season is the is the trophy to win and and Theo's team won that uh, you know Theo had something like 90 points in 45 games for us that season you know he was just uh, he was just a league he really was the, the standout player probably in the last 15 years of the league we, we're very fortunate uh, that we have a lot of ex NHL players ex uh, AHL players but certainly Theo would be the biggest name probably that's played in the league you've had Wade Bielak and a couple of big names whenever the uh, the lockouts took place a number of years ago we had several NHL players but yes Theo was uh, it was a great experience as a Belfast player to be there that first night when he skated out there was a lot of Canadian flags and a lot of excitement in the town and a big buzz around the Giants at that time we were filling the arena and, you know, we were having 7,000 sellouts every night it was absolutely fantastic time for the club uh, just talk about some of those good times now. Uh, I saw online that you guys are currently in the semifinals, so I believe your playoffs work a little differently than our playoffs over here. So just tell us, I guess, how the Giants are doing so far in their postseason run. Well, the, the postseason doesn't start till the end of March. Actually, we've got about another 12 or 13 regular season games. We're actually 17 points clear at the top of the standings at the minute. Um, and it's it's a ten team league. The top eight go into the playoffs at the end of the season. As I said earlier, there it's just a, a two legged quarter final, home and away quarter final, and then they have a, a, a semi final final weekend where all the fans from over the league descend on one huge arena in in Nottingham, and you've got all the fans from all the league there, and the top four teams then play the semi finals on the Saturday, and the final on the Sunday. So. There's three trophies. There's the the league trophy, and to say the Giants are well placed to win that. We're we're 17 points clear at the minute with about a dozen games left. We're in the semi final of the Challenge Cup. Last night was the first leg, and we've taken a 7-1 lead to the away leg for next week. So we're well placed to go into the final lap. And then the playoffs coming up at the end of uh, March for the first weekend in April. There's a real good chance the Giants could do some real serious uh, trophy winning this season. And I believe there's one Gander player that's been following your progress, and that's our goaltender, Paddy O'Brien. You guys have seemed to strike up quite a friendship, and I believe Paddy even sent you guys a Christmas message. So just talk about this friendship that you guys have formed uh, with our goalie, um, Paddy O'Brien. Yeah, I think just from Twitter at the early signs of the season, Paddy maybe retweeted a few of our comments, and then we got talking to him offline and you know it, it put out there that obviously with the O'Brien there was probably some sort of Irish or Northern Ireland connection so we struck up a bit of a friendship he did indeed we were able to put out a, a message to all our followers on, on Christmas Day a, a message from the goalie and we'll, we'll follow him closely you know great shout out for him at the weekend there we're always always really pleased to see Paddy doing well he seems to be getting a bit more ice time now than he was possibly at the at the start of the season and, and fair play to him and uh, Hopefully one of these days he said that uh, one of his one of his bucket list things is to get over to the to Northern Ireland. So we'd be uh, more than happy to have him for a for our guest. Hopefully at a Giants game, but certainly just to, to get some of that good old Ulster hospitality too. Well, that's fine if Paddy goes visit. Just as long as Paddy comes back to play for the Gander Flyers, we'll be fine. Uh, now, Davy, uh, there's one thing that I saw online too that really caught my attention. I believe you guys had an opportunity to speak with Joe Bowen recently. He's a voice of, of our Maple Leafs here in Canada. I love the Maple Leafs; they're my favorite team. So I guess it must have been quite the thrill to interview such a big name guy like Joe Bowen. Yeah, with uh, say our podcast this season has been made the official podcast uh, up until previous the, the sort of last six, seven years. It's just been really three guys. Who, who love their hockey and have been doing an unofficial podcast every week. And, and since the club, uh, you know, took us really on board and have given us access this season to with players' interviews, coaches' interviews on a weekly basis, and, and they've made us official, we, we got a wee bit big for our boots. And uh, we noticed that uh, one of Joe Bowen's friends is actually uh, a friend of our general manager, Todd Kelman. And he had copied Joe Bowen in on a tweet saying that Todd was in Belfast and, and Joe had... Uh, said, wow, if, uh, I'd love to get to Belfast when the, the Olympics are on in Sochi, and, and we just, from there, we sent you a message and said, would you like to chat to the boys, and uh, 
Joe was good enough. Certainly, I I have that interview. I I tweet that up on the on the Gander uh, Twitter account. It's a it's a great chat with Joe, an absolute gentleman. That was one our uh, co-host Patrick Smith, the, the the head of the show, Patrick Smith. I'm um, done with Joe a couple of weeks ago, but an absolute gentleman and another man with uh, roots over in Northern Ireland. His grandparents uh, were from London Derry and. You know, he's another one. It's 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 funny how small the world is nowadays. Everyone seems to have a road back to good old Northern Ireland, and Joe's no different to, to the rest. And uh, still playing away in nets there at uh, the ripe old age of sixty something, and, and still he says he doesn't butterfly as well as Paddy O'Brien, but he uh, <laughs> still tries his best. Davey, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for our feature interview today. It was quite a thrill speaking with you to learn more about the Belfast Giants and exactly what you guys do. So I guess moving forward, we'll say go Giants, go. Thank you very much for your time, Matt. Now, guys, make sure you stay right there because coming up next, we have our final face-off.